Well, hello, hello, guys. Welcome to the vlog. Ignore our messy couch. When Justin got home from being on call this morning, well, he's on call, but he had to actually go out and see a couple patients this morning. But when he got back, we just relaxed on the couch, watched some Naruto. And so, yeah, we have our pillow and blanket in here that we were relaxing with. But anyways, um, we are, well, I'm editing the vlog. It's actually finished editing. It's saving. Justin's playing the game with Brian. Woo. And um, I think we told you guys he was going to get his putter regripped. I think actually in the last video that you just saw before this one, he was going to get his putter regripped, and he did. It was like $30, but Justin said it's always more expensive to do the putter. I don't know why. I, you don't ask me. But um, still, $30 isn't bad because he'll use that putter for a very long time. As well as the other clubs, you know, they last you a long time. So anyway, we went and did that after he got home and we had lunch. We just had leftover tacos from what we made for dinner last night. Um, and then we went and did that. And then now we're back home. I'm editing the video, like I said. And I think Justin actually booked a tea time for this evening. It's like 90 something degrees outside though. So it's going to be hot. I'm going to have to put on um, our like long sleeve fishing shirts and a hat or something like that to try and keep cool so we'll see but for now i just wanted to say hello start the vlog we're gonna finish up a couple of things and then uh, i think it's two times at six and it's 305 so we have a couple hours I actually just got finished editing my video i got it posted for y'all and um we just heard i don't know who told justin matt or brian because they were playing the game that it's supposed to storm at six and that's when we were supposed to go golf so it's four, a little after four now so we're gonna go ahead and go now so that hopefully he has enough time to do at least like nine holes. Um, so I'm gonna go put eye drops in because my right eye is like bothering me. My vision is like really blurry in it. I don't know if there's something in there or what. But I'll put some eye drops on in, not on, in. <laughs> and then we're gonna load up his golf clubs in the Suburban just in case it does storm. I'm gonna try to take my camera. Hopefully it doesn't storm because I don't want my camera to get wet. Maybe I'll take my purse just in case so I can shove it in there um, if it does start raining. But yeah, let's go. All right, we have made it. Justin went to go get the cart and pay the fees and whatever else. Um, and you just, well, the carts are over there. I don't, let me turn, let me open this. So you, I can see what you guys are seeing. I didn't open the little back thingy, but there's the carts right there. I don't know if you can bring your own cart to this golf course or not. Anyways, um, he is fixing to come around and pick me up. And then it's cloudy, pretty cloudy already in some spots. So, yeah, wish us luck. Hopefully, we don't get rained on. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear me because it's windy, but Justin's having trouble getting started. But he'll, he'll get there. Well, darn, guys. That storm over there is keeping us from playing. Well, Justin from playing. I'm not playing. I'm just watching. But, uh, yeah, they gave us a rain check and said he could come out tomorrow um, sometime. So, he got to play two holes for free, I guess. He did lose one ball. But he actually lost two, but we found the other one on the way back. Because got a good eye. <laughs> they have, like, this alert system that... Uh, it's pretty cool on the cart and it was saying like there's lightning within so many miles and it was like please bring the cart back so we ended up having to go back but on the way back we found one of his balls which we're proud of so uh, but yeah I guess we'll have to continue tomorrow so we'll see how it goes then but we're gonna go home and cook some dinner because it's 5 30 we're getting pretty hungry um, I'm gonna go home and practice my swing so I don't look as bad this golf course is like I don't know. Not like, very good. Like it's the the grass is, is like real patchy around here, and then like yeah. a lot of it's just weeds. Like the one that I golfed on uh, and on that uh, not golf thing the other day. Mm -hmm. Like it's way better. Yeah, it was it, that place is way better than the place that I'm at today. Yeah, so. but yeah, the grass is like some super tall in some spots, so like your ball sitting on top of the grass because you know the balls don't weigh very much, but then you're club you're like trying to hold so you're having to like hold it up off the ground a tiny bit 
because the ball's up off the ground, so I don't know. It just looks like it's pretty hard, but I mean, hopefully he'll do better tomorrow. Well, all right, guys. I didn't film anything else. I we just we've been in the house, kind of cooped up, not doing much. We played the video game for a little while, um, and then Justin got off because he has to go see another patient tomorrow in the morning. Um, so yeah, he had to go to bed so he could get some sleep. Um, we had dinner. We had um, chicken that I cooked in a skillet with. I'll have to show you guys the seasoning later. I don't want to go make too much noise because Justin's trying to sleep. But it's like a... I can't remember the brand. But I think it's literally called chicken seasoning. <laughs> but it's actually pretty good. Um, anyways, I seasoned it with that. And then I made asparagus. And some broccoli cheesy rice thingy. And that's what we had. Um, and we got leftover so we don't have to cook tomorrow for lunch or anything. And... Um, we also have some leftover pork meat that we're going to make barbecue sandwiches out of. So we should be good for tomorrow and not have to cook at all. So that's nice. Can't beat that, right? Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick update. I'm going to go get into bed. Hopefully avoid waking Justin up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what we get into tomorrow after Justin gets back from checking on his patients. We are back at the golf course. It is 1130 it's already getting pretty warm it's 86 degrees so we decided we should probably get it over with before you know around one or two that's when it's going to start getting pretty hot it's supposed to be I think like 93 or 4 today so it's getting there pretty quick but we are um just went in to go you know do the same as yesterday get the car and everything and um it rained yesterday obviously that's why we couldn't um be out here because it was raining and hopefully you guys can hear me i just realized i left the air conditioning on but um we on the way because like the road that you drive in on is right beside like one of the cart paths and it's like flooded and they drove through it and water was going everywhere i was like oh my gosh i just took a shower hopefully we don't get muddy and it's windy of course so i don't know how much i can film except for montage it's always windy here unfortunately but anyways um yeah we're gonna go try this again so we'll see but you don't care you're unaware keep moving like the scars aren't even there it's in the air like a blazing flare just stay cause the flames will burn us I thought you were the one for me that's why I give you every it's been a while since we filmed we were pretty pooped from golfing this morning well I didn't even golf but it was just hot and I did get out and help Justin looked for several of his balls that he lost. Um, we well, he, he couldn't find them. We didn't like officially lose them. He couldn't find them, so I helped him and we found them. But anyway, um, we were pooped, so we came home. Justin took a little nap. I watched some Naruto, and then he watched some other anime he's been watching. And now I have heated up some leftover pork for some tacos. I got three tacos here. Um, on corn tortillas these are just white corn and I heated them up in a warm like a wet paper towel that I why, why am I having such a hard time explaining that you get the paper towel you wet it with some warm water you wrap your corn tortillas put them in the microwave for like 30 seconds and they get nice and soft but anyways I love making this pork, pork recipe I think I didn't leave it down below in the description for y'all in the last video shoot Okay, I'll leave it under this video, hopefully. One of these videos. But it's so good. It's literally, you can make barbecue sandwiches out of it, tacos. You can do anything with it. Jess and I are just huge fans of tacos. So, so good. Highly recommend. I think it was like a six or seven pound roast, and it's fed us for like five meals. I don't even know. It's crazy. So, highly recommend if you're feeding a big family or if you want leftovers, you don't want to have to cook you know multiple times a week or something like that very easy very delicious and uh it's one of our favorites so anyways i just thought i'd share dinner with you guys justin and matt are playing the game and i'll probably get on here in a little bit as well um there's nothing else to do so you know why not but for now i'm gonna finish up my dinner 
and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, it's actually the next day. I didn't film anything yesterday evening. Uh, my mom, uh, sorry, I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to say here. She bought myself, my brothers, and that's it, myself and my brothers, um, some Halloween shirts. I guess she has a friend that's trying to start up a small t-shirt making business or something like that. Um, and so she wanted to support her and so she bought us some shirts. Mine's super cute, but I left it in the Prius last night in the car. Uh, I forgot to bring it in because we went rode, we went and rode around after we left my mom's house. And so I just didn't think to grab it out of the car. But it's super cute. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, it's a Hocus Pocus shirt. And I love the colors. It's like this really pretty green and like peachy. I don't know. You'll see. It's like a... a I can't speak. It's like a bleached shirt. Um with like a hocus pocus print on the front and it's super cute. But anyway, um, so she got us that. I think Matt got a Jason one. Um, and then Brian got Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I believe. Could be wrong, but it is something like that. Um, and so, yeah, we went over there last night, me, Matt, uh, Macy and Justin. <laughs> and got those and visited with her for a little bit. That's pretty much the end of the video. Um, hope you guys like golfing because I feel like that's all that this video was about. I can't really remember. Oh, by the way, I didn't even address this, but in some of the golfing footage, there was some cool stuff. You guys saw those antelope? They were so cute. They were not scared of people at all. Like we were sitting there golfing. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm scared they're gonna get hit by a ball or something. But they didn't care, like they, that was like their home. They liked being over there and nothing really scared them at all. Um, there was, however, a drone. Did you guys see that big drone? I wish I would have got it on. Um, did you guys see it? Like you didn't just watch it. <sighs> Anyways, sometimes I don't know about myself, guys. But it was this huge drone. I think it was like an electric company here that was flying over some of the area. I don't know what they're doing, but they had this huge drone. I swear it was probably like. It's hard to say. It was on the ground when we drove by it, but it was behind a van, so I didn't have my camera ready or anything. Like I didn't know the drone was gonna be there until after we already passed it, and I didn't want to just casually circle back around when they're trying to like fly it and stuff. So um, I got it as it went up in the air, but you can't really tell how big it is from it, you know, just being in the air. It was huge, guys. I would say it was at at minimum four foot by four foot, like a huge drone. Um, it was probably bigger than that, but like I said, I don't really know. Yeah, it was huge and it was really cool to see it like go up in the sky. Um, I was trying to help Justin like keep track of his, um, we, we forgot the little paper that you write like your score on and stuff. So I was trying to help him keep track of score. I was trying to film and I was driving the golf cart. So I was multitasking. So I didn't get to film it for very long. Plus they took it, they like went off with it pretty far, pretty quick. And so I just caught it for a second, but anyways, it was fun going golfing. The scenery is really beautiful. Um, luckily, we've been blessed with a lot of rain this year. And so everything is just nice and green and pretty. And it was really pretty to be out there and just spend some quality time with Justin. Um, even though I don't like to golf, I like to spend time with him. And it was fun regardless because I just enjoyed watching him have a good time, you know. So it was a good time. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to shut up now. Um, thank you so much for watching. We hope you all enjoyed and we will see y'all soon.